progressive person, uh, James Neal from the University of Canberra, teaches in the Faculty of Health uh, and he teaches primarily psychology subjects. And uh, James, I think, is here to talk about a similar project to what Russell talked about, asking students to collaboratively write an open textbook in um, psychology, motivation and emotion. Some of the people, some of you here have heard me probably talk about this ad nauseum, but I thought we'd hear it from the horse's mouth. James is much more balanced and less evangelical than I am about the thing, and he'll talk about all the sorts of problems and successes he's had. And James, if you're intending to talk about something else, I'm sure it's just as fascinating. <laughs> no, that's okay, Lee. Um, so am I able to share slides on my screen? Yes, you are. So over on the left-hand side, there's a, there's a toolbar option called Screen Share, and it will pop up a window and asking you what part of your screen you'd like to share. Okay, just let me um, poke around and find that, and then we're away. If you're not uh, seeing it, you might have to um, open up that toolbar. It should be on the left, a row of tools. Um, oh, yeah, Screen Share. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. And start screen share. Okay, this is my first go at uh, Google Hangout. So, um, but uh, I'm uh, always excited to work with Lee because he's um, he he keeps me keeps me learning. Okay, so can you see a screen now or not? I'm seeing your Google Hangout screen, so not uh, a presentation slide. You might have to go back to share, un unclick share screen and re-click it and make sure you're clicking. Okay your presentation screen. Okay, I'm well, having one more go here. Start screen share. That's good. Okay, all right. Let's... Um, so I'm about to launch into motivation and emotion, which is a third year psychology um, all year final semester unit. And rather than do traditional sort of essays and uh, stand up in front of the classroom and do a little group presentation, we produce an online book uh, where each student authors a single chapter, a unique chapter, and they make a five-minute multimedia presentation of their chapter that goes with, with, with the book. So I will give you a very brief version of basically what I tell the students um, next week when we get underway. Um, the course revolves around them learning about motivation and emotion theory and research and the assessment and learning exercise basically encourages them and supports them in demonstrating their ability in a particular topic to integrate theory and research in an applied way, so in a way that's relevant to a self-help type audience who, who might like to use what we know from psychology to uh, help improve their own lives. So it is an assessment exercise, but it's also a learning exercise um, and also an exercise where we hope that they get some generic skills out and uh, it also serves sort of a social purpose of being able to have ongoing value and, and use in the broader community. So, uh, so the book chapter component is about half the assessment and the accompanying multimedia is uh, 20% and then there are online quizzes that relate back to the broader content um, for each of the, the chapters and lectures and tutorials that we cover. Uh, so for me, fundamentally, this is a learning exercise that happens to allow us to be able to do the assessment and it happens to provide some sort of social value and ongoing uh, ubiquity. Uh, I try and be transparent about ha how much time I expect the students will probably need to put in to uh, produce the book. The interesting thing there for me is if we have 100 authors spending about 50 hours uh, each on a book chapter, that's about 5,000 hours or one person working full-time for three years. And it's always bugged me that we have that much human endeavour and effort and sweat and toil going into essays that end up um, being thrown out uh, effectively at the end of the uh, course. So it's for me, this is partly about capturing the social potential and social value of 
a hundred intelligent people working that hard on uh, something together. Uh, the generic skills for the unit, um, it, th these exercises help promote their communication skills, working independently, so they have to work particularly hard on their own to be the lead author on a chapter, but at the same time it's a collaboratively developed um, book and so they are encouraged and rewarded for uh, editing other people's chapters or at least making peer review comments on the discussion pages so that um, there's a broader conversation going on as well. Um, and professionalism and social responsibility, that's that community contribution that we're making, that we're authoring the book in the public um, domain uh, on Wikiversity but it could be could be anywhere and the public can get involved and make comment and, and um, be part of the book as well. James, sorry to interrupt you. Um, I think there might be a problem with your uh, slide presentation. We had okay. some time. We had some time with um, Russell and uh, Willie to sort this out. They had to yes. export to PDF and then uh, show their PDF viewer because we're still looking at your first slide uh, uh, and okay. we're looking at the edit view of your slide slide editor. Yeah. Okay. Um, is is it difficult I for can, you? I can flip. Uh, will it, would it make any difference if I just flip to the wiki and do it off that? Good on you. Yeah, I reckon that would be good. Okay, let's try try that because it's pretty much just slides of what's on the wiki. Uh, will I need to reshare this screen or are you seeing? You did, uh, I'm not seeing the wiki now so you might have to reshare. Okay, let me reshare. Um, uh, yeah, good point. Uh, James, if you didn't, just don't go to presentation view on your slides and just flick through the slides in your editor. We can see oh, yeah. it that way. So are you able to see them now? Yeah, we can see book pitch. You're on the slide. Oh, okay. Book. Okay. All right. That was a great suggestion. Um, okay. So I'll, I don't really, I'll, I won't repeat what I just said, but I will just, um, so we were on the opening slide. Okay, learning outcomes. Let's see. So it was about integrating motivation and emotion theory and research. Uh, then the assessment breakdown uh, principles for the uh, exercise, the workload uh, involved in each of the components. And uh, then I was talking about the generic skills that we, we're trying to address. And the first year I ran the exercise, the idea was to create a new textbook. And that might have been the one that Lee's talked about. And that was a good idea in principle, but I've changed in focus. So initially we, wa we wanted to get rid of the old commercial textbook and have students produce a brand new textbook. The problem was that in the space of time and with the expertise that they had, they write very diversely and about very diverse sorts of topics which are interesting in and of themselves but they don't, it wasn't easy to produce a coherent um, edited textbook. So now the focus is on addressing a general layperson's audience who might like, who might be somebody at the airport waiting to get on a plane and they pick up a book that says how you can improve your life um, and it uses insights from psychological science about motivation and emotion in your life and uh, they can pick up some useful information that's well based in, um, in academic uh, knowledge. So the task for the student then is to come up with a unique, interesting, well written, freely available online self-help book chapter about a particular uh, emotion motivation or emotion topic. We are, there's online guidelines that include ha the process of how they sign up for a topic. There are some topics that I generate and put up there and they can choose those, but they can also propose a topic that fits with the book and we can negotiate that and, and add it. Um, whilst the recommended and supported platform location is Wikiversity, if somebody has a particular reason why they don't want to do their authoring there, I've only had one student out of 200 or so who's um, 
seem to have had a problem with doing it in that environment, but it's important to give them the option. Um, we talk about the licensing, so it's important that they understand that work that they put onto that environment is Creative Commons licensed and that they understand what that means uh, and that they're knowingly consenting to uh, participating in that way. Um, with academic integrity and independence and collaboration, we, we talk about that they need to be the primary author or curator of the chapter and it needs to be original work, but um, we talk about ways that they can support and collaborate w with one another. And, and the main way to do that is via the talk pages. And we also use the Moodle discussion forum where they can post their plans and their draft uh, or uh, thread about their plans and drafts and pop a link and people can uh, go over and see that and um, make comments. Uh, initially, I didn't provide a word length in the first year and that was a problem because students wrote huge, or some students wrote huge amounts, um, thesis length pages. So now we have an upper word limit and if they've got extra material they can put the, that material into sub pages or different pages but it doesn't form part of the um, required component for the marking. Uh, we offer some, well, we talk about hypertext and one of the advantages of writing in this environment is that chapters, for example, can be linked to one another and interlinked. Um, so we talk about using wiki links so that it's not just a flat essay that's, that's uh, dumped online, it's actually a rich text that um, has good quality interlinking. Also, say, back to relevant Wikipedia articles or to relevant um, external resources. Uh, referencing, the idea is still that students are going back to their primary sources, so it, the, the core set of references are the um, peer-reviewed uh, journal type articles. Uh, number nine, the features, we encourage them to add some kind of extra learning feature or features that help lift the page off the screen, so it might be some uh, Images, tables, uh, could be interactive quiz, could be embedded multimedia um, that's either already available on Wiki Commons or which they've created and uploaded. Um, at least some attempt to engage the, um, the reader in, in some other way other than just uh, reading. And uh, finally, the, the feedback and peer review that they receive is, is part of the process and part of the book, which is best logged on the discussion page for the, um, for the book. So to give them just a little th uh, flavour for things they might write about, and we can have a look at the actual topics on the wiki, it's really about how can you, things like how can you be more motivated, how could you be more productive, procrastinate less, eat a healthier diet, do more exercise, or any other applied aspect of motivation. And in the case of emotion, it's about how can we understand our different emotions, be happy, be emotionally intelligent, uh, when is it good to express emotions, when it is, is it good not to, etc. Uh, so there's some marking criteria up on the wiki, and that's particularly important because it's a somewhat novel exercise for students, so uh, we've gone to some lengths to try and um, give them as much detail and suggestion as possible. Uh, number four down there, the social contribution is the way that we try and measure uh, basically the social karma that they put into the book, and, and that's how I see it, is that if they've uh, improve the quality of the book outside of their primary chapter to a significant degree, then um, then that's that's what gets rewarded. Uh, in effect, it's kind of like bonus marks for those who are most engaged and um, supportive of other people's uh, chapters and chapter development. Uh, so, because it is a somewhat novel task, uh, I do a dedicated lecture and a dedicated tutorial to teaching 
the technical aspects of how to um, do the textbook authoring and multimedia creation, but also to engage them in the development of the table of contents and so a brainstorming process so that they start they're involved in building the book uh, from the start and then in developing the next step, which is their their chapter plan. Uh, so briefly, the multimedia task is simply to create a maximum five minute multimedia presentation and post it somewhere on the web that can be linked to. Um, and that's linked from the chapter and that the, they, in, they interlink with each other. And so that's been largely about communicating the key ideas in a um, short uh, format. Uh, a lot of the students get somewhat anxious about production quality, but um, we emphasise that as long as it's got clear picture and sound, it's easy to find and watch, uh, it has clear metadata, that it's not about technical elaboration, it's about clarity and um, being well organised and well planned and, and well executed. So the simplest approach that I've recommended to most students to is to use screenr.com which allows you just to click create a screencast maximum five minutes and you can push it to, to YouTube um, if they want to do slide type presentation or they can uh, use YouTube to do a uh, or Google to use a um, head and shoulder type presentation. Uh, so I know Lee asked for the warts and all. Um, in the student feedback, these are just a couple of typical comments and they illustrate, I guess, both sides of uh, students' responses. Uh, best aspects, being able to choose their own topic. Students love having choice in their topic. Um, and writing a chapter that was meaningful to us, using a new medium that extended our skills, learning to use the wiki and writing in this way was more relevant to real life than an essay, really engaging unit. Um, so I think that illustrates what we were hoping the students would, um, ha how they might respond. Worst aspects, did not like at all the focus on Wikiversity and multimedia, uh, social media aspects, overly challenging to be learning the content as well as the medium. And there are certainly um, students who responded in that way and so we've strengthened up the, um, I guess, introducing them to the idea of explaining it to them and supporting their, their skill development around that. Uh, the wiki is only getting easier and easier to edit um, because uh, that's been a real focus of the Wikimedia platforms and um, multimedia only gets easier and easier to you know, record and create. So I, th I think that will be minimised but not necessarily completely eliminated um, as we go along.